The Ugly Truth About Being a Black Woman in America Historically, before and after the emancipation of the slaves, blacks have always been considered less than whites, discriminated against, excluded, persecuted, and racially profiled. If you add to all that the prejudice, stereotypes, dehumanized, and hypersexualization associated with black women, it is an ugly truth that no one can deny right now when you talk about what it means to be a black woman in the United States. No one doubts that racism and gender discrimination have profound impacts on the well-being of black women, but also on their chances of success in a society where black women are considered less intelligent, attractive, and important than white women. To understand the origin of some of the behaviors, attitudes, social value, self-image, and mental health problems of black women compared to white and Latina women, we must analyze the historical facts associated with racism. During the slave system, the black woman was seen as a work tool in the agricultural plantation of the South, who only served to work in the fields, be part of a slave farm, and satisfy the sexual needs of those slave owners, who saw the black woman as a simple sexual object. If men were treated like animals, the life of black women was much worse, when apart from working in the fields, they also had to give birth to slave children to increase the wealth of the owners of the plantations. The number of black slaves someone had was a sign of wealth during the slave system. When talking about the ugly reality of black women right now, it is that compared to the slave system right now, they can be considered as free women in their ability to choose and be chosen, make their own decisions, choose any lifestyle that suits them. Nobody denies that black women have the right to have their own opinion, follow any system of belief that meets their spiritual needs, decide when and with whom to have sex, the type of work to do, also who to choose when having a partner or build a family and number of children. Many would say that this is the beautiful side of being a black woman in the United States, the land of great opportunity where you can achieve the American dream. Now let's talk about the ugly truth of being a black woman in the United States. Knowing the history of African Americans, Something that has not changed for centuries, before and after the slave system, are the levels of poverty in which women grow, the low level of education, growing up in dysfunctional families, the racial prejudices associated with the tone of skin, we must also talk about the stigmatization associated with the behavior of black women, the lack of control over the body image of black women, low job position compared to men, the masculine energy that many of them project, earning low wages in comparison to men. Lastly, they are blamed for all the problems of criminality and sexual promiscuity in many young girls and boys growing up with single mothers. During the slave system, especially in the southern plantations, black women were physically and sexually exploited by plantation owners. Right now, when you look at the over-sexualized images of black women on TV shows and music videos, this hypersexualization of the black female body is still going on. The black woman, as a member of a minority group in the United States, is treated as such. The ugly truth of how minorities are treated in all parts of the world is a reality that we must accept, and even more so, when the most fundamental rights of that minority are violated by white power. When talking about the ugly reality of black women right now, it is that compared to the slave system right now, they can be considered as free women in their ability to choose and be chosen, make their own decisions, choose any lifestyle that suits them. Like, nobody denies that black women have the right to have their own opinion, follow any system of belief that meets their spiritual needs, decide when and with whom to have sex, the type of work to do, also who to choose when having a partner or build a family and number of children, Many would say that this is the beautiful side of being a black woman in the United States, the land of great opportunity where you can achieve the American dream. When a black girl is born in the United States, without knowing it, she is viewed with concern by black parents, who unknowingly pass on to that innocent girl the generational fear that is part of the collective subconscious of blacks, in which the negative effects of slavery, racial discrimination, and institutionalized racism shape the way that dark-skinned black girl sees herself and her chances of success. Mental pessimism of the parents, which is projected in negative attitudes and behaviors towards the black girl, which is associated with the black color of the skin of an innocent girl, 
who was born to be discriminated against, excluded, and despised by white people. If black parents are having a hard time in a society controlled by white ideology, we can all predict how tough the future will be for this dark-skinned black girl. The ugly truth of black women in the United States is that black girls in the future will have the same fate if there are no fundamental changes in white-controlled American society, but also within the black community in the way they look at the role of black women. Black women throughout American history have never been valued by white people, but neither have they been given the correct value and equal status with black men within business, community work, organized politics, and decision-making in the family. When talking about the ugly truth of being a black woman in the United States, one aspect to consider when analyzing is the self-esteem of black women in a society where the lighter your skin tone, the more beautiful you are considered as a woman, but also high social value. Let's not talk about a society where the role models of beauties are white European women like the United States that tells you as a dark-skinned black woman that your skin color is the reason why you are not considered attractive or beautiful in comparison to biracial women and white women. Some might think that black women are not good as beauty role models, but they are good as objects of sexual pleasure. The dark-skinned black woman is considered so ugly that many times they use a biracial mulatto woman to replace her in commercials, television programs, fashion magazines, and big movie productions, not to mention in the world of entertainment in general. The ugly truth about being black with dark skin in the United States is that the image of black women is so often openly excluded, often with the complicity of the black community itself, who approves of this displacement of black women with dark skin. Dark by biracial mulatto women without saying anything, so as not to offend black women who see biracial women as part of the black community. Something that you must understand in a society like the United States, the ugly truth is that black women must work harder than white women and twice as hard as men to achieve their goals, dreams, aspirations, and desires as a black woman in a society where your skin color largely determines your success. As a result of racism, gender discrimination, sexism, social exclusion, and patriarchal attitudes, women earn less than men doing the same job but they also receive fewer promotions to executive positions, even though they have more experience than white men and women. Black women's earnings are so far behind those of both white men and white women. Black women are more likely to work in lower-paying service occupations, like food service, domestic work, and healthcare assistance, than any other industry, and less likely to work in the higher-paying engineering and tech fields or managerial positions. The U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics shows that the percentage of black women who are full-time minimum wage workers is higher than that of any other racial group. In addition to being overrepresented at the low-paying end of the spectrum, black women are underrepresented at the top. Black women make up just 1% of the high-paying engineering workforce and 3% of computing. The pay and wealth disparities that black women face affect not only individuals, but also the people around them. Since 80% of black mothers are the sole co-breadwinners or primary breadwinners for their household, a fair salary can mean the difference between struggling and sustainability for a family. Black women and girls live at the intersection of sexism and racism. While sexism and racism are distinct forms of discrimination that manifest differently, their effects are compounded when a person experiences both at the same time. Intersectional discrimination perpetuates the racial and gender wealth gaps, limits black women's access to educational opportunities, and impedes their career advancement. The wealth gap black families experience can be traced to historic injustices, such as slavery, segregation, redlining, unequal access to government programs like welfare, and the GI Bill and ongoing institutionalized and systematic discrimination. What is the ugly reality in which black women grow up in the United States? According to the analysis of federal government data by the Pew Research Center, find that blacks on average are at least twice as likely as whites to be poor or to be unemployed. Households headed by a black person earn on average little more than half of what the average white households earn. And in terms of their median net worth, white households are about 13 times as wealthy as black households, a gap that has grown wider since the Great Recession. 
In 2014, median black household income was about $43,300, while white household income was about $71,300. Blacks are more than twice as likely as whites to live in poverty. In 2014, about a quarter or 26% of blacks were poor compared with 10% of whites. Black unemployment has been at least twice as high as white unemployment. Roughly 7 in 10 or 71% births to black women occurred outside of marriage compared with 29% of births to white women. Black children are more than twice as likely as white children to be living with just one parent. Marriages involving black women tend to be less stable than those of whites, Hispanics, or Asians. Black women lose less weight than other subpopulations do in behavioral weight loss intervention research, and they have a positive body self-image at higher weight levels, which may be psychologically healthy, but also diminishes their motivation to lose weight. Compared with white women, black women have higher rates of cardiovascular disease, CVD, mortality, which has been contributed to poorer cardiovascular health and a higher burden of modifiable risk factors and clinical comorbidities. It is estimated that black women are three to almost four times more likely to die while pregnant or within one year postpartum than their white and Latina counterparts. Research suggests that chronic exposure to environmental stressors, such as racism, across the lifespan contributes to the weathering of the health of black women, increasing their allostatic load, and consequently, compromising their reproductive health. Perceived stress from chronic experiences of discrimination has been found to be a significant predictor of poor birth outcomes. Black women are twice as likely to have a low birth weight infant than non-Hispanic white women. Black women experience higher rates of depression and anxiety during pregnancy and are at a greater risk of poor pregnancy outcomes. Racism and gender discrimination have profound impacts on the well-being of black women. That is an ugly truth that we must all accept.